Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is Module 8, Lesson 2, Division Properties of Exponents. After this lesson, you need to be able to find quotients of monomials and find powers of quotients. Let's learn. Quotient of powers. You can use repeated multiplication and the principles for reducing fractions to simplify the quotients of monomials with the same base, like 2 to the 8th divided by 2 to the 3rd. To do this, first you're going to expand the numerator and the denominator, then divide the common factors. So we can see here, 2 to the 8th is really just 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 multiplied 8 times. 2 to the 3rd power is 2 times 2 times 2. Then, when we're dividing common factors, we can see 2 shows up on the top and the bottom, so we can cancel them out. Every time we do 2 divided by 2, we get 1. And then when we multiply by 1, it doesn't change anything. So if we divide by 2 and multiply by 2, we can get rid of as many pairs from the top and the bottom as we can, and we'll see what's left. So there were five twos left on the top. So our final answer, putting it back together, would be two to the fifth. We can do the same with variables. We'd have r five times divided by r four times. We can cancel out four of them from each. We're left with just one on the top, which is r to the first power, so just r. Both of these show that quotient of powers property. Our key concept then is our quotient of powers. Pretty much what this is saying if you have two powers with the same base, you need to subtract their exponents. So if you can remember that when you're multiplying, you add the exponents, division, quotients, are just the opposite. You're going to subtract. So this says for any non-zero number a, if a was zero, we can't divide by zero, so that wouldn't work. Any other number works. And m and p have to be integers. So b to the 12 divided by b to the 9 would be the same as b to the 12 minus 9, or just b to the third. We just subtract the exponents. Example one, quotient of powers. Simplify b to the fifth, c to the seventh, divided by b to the second, and c. We have to assume the denominator does not equal zero, because we cannot divide by zero. So to do this, first we're going to group powers that have the same base. To do this, we're going to put our b's together and our c's together. Then we're going to use that quotient of powers property, so subtracting the exponents, to simplify this out. So b to the fifth divided by b to the second would be b to the five minus two, and then c to the seven divided by c with that hidden one exponent would be seven minus one. Putting it back together, we would end up with b to the third and c to the sixth. Check your understanding, simplify the expression given, and choose the correct answer. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said d, a to the second, b, and d to the third. This one has b to the one if you were looking for that. So to do this, there is no a's on the bottom, so a to the second would just stay. b to the 9 and b to the 8 would make this b to the 1. c and c would cancel out. There's 1 and 1, so there would be c to the 0, 0 c's. And then d to the 4 and d to the 1 makes this d to the 3. So a2, b1, d3, which is d. Let's learn power of a quotient. You can use the product of powers property to find the power of quotients for monomials. For example, if we have two-fifths to the third power, that means we had two-fifths three times, as we can see here. Then we can see there was three twos on the top and three fives on the bottom. So this would really be the same as two to the third and five to the third. As we briefly went through in the last lesson, we can just take the power that's outside and kind of distribute it to everything on the top and the bottom. Our key concept then is the power of a quotient. So for any real number a, where b is not zero because it's the bottom, and any integer m, if we take that m, we can distribute it to both a and b, to both the numerator and the denominator. So if we had 1 fourth to the fifth, that would be the same as doing 1 to the fifth and 4 to the fifth, which, and if we wanted to multiply this out farther, 1 to the fifth power would just be 1, and 4 to the fifth power would be 1,024. Example 3, power of a quotient. We have simplify 5a squared divided by 6 all to the third power. So we're going to take this 3 outside, and we're going to distribute it to both the top and the bottom. So if we do that, we'd end up with 5a squared as the top, still to the third power, and then there was nothing on the bottom, so just 6 to the third. Then thinking about our power to a product, we're going to take that 3 again and distribute it to everything else. We could have just done that in the first place, but here we're going to break it down a little. So the third to the fifth would be 5 to the third power, and that third power to a to the second would end up being a to the 2 times 3, so a to the sixth. 5 to the third power would multiply out to be 125. 6 to the third power is 216. So our final answer would be 125a to the 6 all over 216. Check your understanding. Simplify the expression and choose the best answer. 
Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said B. Let's see how to get that. So first, we're going to take the 4 and reverse distribute all of the exponents. So on the top, we would have 5 to the 4, J to the 3 times 4, and L to the 2 times 4. On the bottom, we'd have 7 to the 4th. Let's make that on the bottom. And K to the 5 times 4. So we can see here 3 times 4 would be 12. 2 times 4 would be 8. 5 times 4 would be 20. And then if we're looking at just the exponents, we have 12, 8, and 20. 12, 8, and 20. 7, 6, and 9. So it can't be C. 12, 8, and 5. Can't be D. Then we still have to simplify these numbers. So if we're just using some logic, these ones did not get multiplied out to the fourth power like they should have. So it must be just left with B. If we were to use a calculator real quick and check, 5 to the fourth power is 625. 7 to the fourth power is 2401. So those would be correct. Example 4, power of a quotient with variables. Simplify x to the fourth, y, over x, y, z to the second power. And then we're going to write our justification next to each step. So first, we have this power outside that we're going to need to distribute to both the top and the bottom. And that is the power of a quotient that we just learned about. Once we do that, we're going to still have to take that exponent outside and put it with everything that's inside, both the top and the bottom. And what we're doing there is the power of a product. So we can see we'd have x to the fourth to the second power and y to the second, and x to the second, y to the second, z to the second. Here they multiply that out again, which means we did a power of a power. There was a power inside and a power outside. We didn't have to distribute it multiple times, so it's just a power to a power. Then finally, we're going to group the things together that we can. x to the 8 divided by x to the 2 is x to the 6. y2 divided by y2 is 1. It's gone. And we're just left with z2 on the bottom. So finally, I did the quotient of powers, which is where I subtracted the exponents with the same base. Check your understanding, simplify the expression, and choose the best answer. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have chose C. To get that, we have this fourth power outside that we got to bring to every single thing inside. So we'd end up with 4 to the fourth, and then m to the 2 times 4, so m to the 8, n to the 2 times 4, so n8, p to the 2 times 4, p8 on the top. On the bottom, we'd have 3 to the fourth power, m to the fourth power, and p to the fourth power. Then I can see I have m's on the top and the bottom, so 8 minus 4 is 4. n is just on the top, so I would just keep it. p on the top and the bottom, subtract, I get 4. And then when I do this, 4 to the 4 is 256, and 3 to the 4th power is 81. And I would keep that on the bottom since it's the only thing on the bottom and it's not canceling with anything else. So final would be C.